So hello and yes, welcome back to another video guys. Um, now today it's a big pre-order day. Um, it's a very expensive one, which is crazy because it's December and it's Christmas and um, yeah, this is not helpful. Uh, but yeah, there are three Blu-rays out today, one of which apparently is literally two, three stops away from my house. Um, that's Fear the Walking Dead Season 5, so if you want to see me unbox that, stick around because it'll be out here up on the channel in a, in a while. Um, I've literally just heard it come through the door, funny enough. I, I, I'm not even joking, I've just heard it drop through the door. <laughs> and also, this came out today, Hobbs and Shaw on Blu-ray, which I have also unboxed. There'll be a video of that up as well in a minute. Um... So yeah, if you want to see either of those unboxings, go check them out. But today, it is indeed time for the final season of Game of Thrones. Here it is. This is um, an interesting series to talk about. I'm probably going to save a lot of talking about this one for my video that I'll do at the start of 2020, where I talk about my favourite TV shows of 2019. I've seen 18 shows this year. Very proud of that. I've really been digging deep into some new TV this year, which I don't normally do. I'm more of a movie guy. Um, yeah, I've been watching Game of Thrones since season three. I've been a huge fan of it. Those first four seasons of Game of Thrones are maybe the best TV I've ever seen. I loved it. And I really like Game of Thrones all the way up to season six. I found season seven a bit wobbly. And unfortunately, I found this season very disappointing. I was not the biggest fan. However, there are elements about it that I like. And I had to complete the collection because I've got the other seven seasons. So I was like, yes, I still have to get this. It's an important show to me. This is an important season. And while the writing was very weak, everything else still was really good for the most part. So anyway, let's take a look at this. Um, I'm going to open it up first, just in case we get glare off the cellophane. So I'm going to just slice this open. There is a sticker on here as well. Um, includes feature length The Last Watch documentary plus hours of bonus content. So that'll be that'll be interesting. Let's slice this. Okay. So they've done a nice little box. It looks it's about the same thickness as Series 7. Plastic won't come off. There we go. Hmm, so very nice. I'm, I am I like this cover. It's a nice cover. Um, so you've got the Iron Throne there, kind of going into the Dragon Eyes. Um, and the title is embossed and glossed. Which is very nice. There is the spine that is also embossed and glossed. And then there is the back. The other side, Game of Thrones, embossed and glossed again. Um, so yeah, what, what characters we got here? So we've got Tyrion, Arya, uh, Daenerys, Bran, Jon and Sansa. Yeah, I, don't, I, I mean, yeah, I don't really see who else she could have there. He couldn't have Cersei. She barely did anything. <laughs> so this slides off. Just got a close-up there. The Iron Throne. Iron Throne's just glossed there. Very strange choice there. Very strange. You can tell that the creators of this set didn't have much to go on. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. So, here we go. We got everyone just sitting on the Iron Throne. I'm pretty sure these are the pictures they took for the Empire magazine. <laughs> so, we got Jamie, Aya, um, Daenerys, Bran. Oh, there's Cersei. So, we got Sansa, Tyrion, Cersei, and Jon. Nearly got John doing the exact same pose that his father Ned Stark. Well, no, he's not his father, sorry. Spoiler. Um, <laughs> done a few seasons back. Three discs. And behind it is King's Landing with the dragon flying over, which looks blurry as hell. That is a terrible picture. That is terrible. <laughs> That is so blurry. Why have they put that in there? 
Well, it kind of matches the season, I must say. Disappointing. It's a disappointing set. So we got episode one through three on disc one, episodes four and five on disc two. Uh, disc three is episode six and the bonus features. And then, hey, look, if you if you wanna if you wanna know how it, or, you know, eventually we might get to the real ending, you can read the books, which I've started to do because I I remember after this show ended, I was like, man, that was disappointing. I'm gonna go read the books because I hear they're better. <laughs> So I did. I've started to read them. I've read the first one and it's it's amazing. But um, anyway, as I say, I don't want to rag on Game of Thrones too much because I am a huge fan. I love Game of Thrones. This show worked so well for many years. Um, and this season still had some of the best visuals and some of the best directing. The episodes were really good in terms of quality of being made. It's just unfortunately the writing wasn't very good. And in terms of this Blu-ray set, it is a bit disappointing. Blurry pictures not very good really um yeah this is probably the weakest set from game of thrones as well as the weakest season so hey well done game of thrones you went out you went out really well <laughs> um but that is it for this video guys as always don't forget to hit that subscribe button like the video leave a message and i'll see you guys next time for another video bye bye